Hi witches, so I hope that you enjoyed your magical week that we did yesterday, but we are rolling right along into Maybun season. So um, today I wanted to touch on the full moon that is tomorrow. Patrons, I will be reaching out to you for your full moon intentions, so be sure to check out your messages. Um, as always, if there's no response or anything, I do a general blessing uh, ritual for all of my um, like moon manifestation patrons. Um, and up. so if you are at the $10 and above, um, I will do magic for you. Um, so yes, if you are not a patron, check it out. <laughs> so anyways, um, today I wanted to touch on the full moon that is tomorrow, September's full moon, and it is peaking on the East Coast at 7.54 p.m. So you should be able to catch it um, maybe on your commute home. I saw um, the moon yesterday and it was like huge and beautiful and bright in the sky and I'm just so happy for this moon. So. Um, September's moon is primarily called the harvest moon um, and well there's there's two kinds of names so it's called the harvest moon but can also be referred to as the barley moon the corn moon the fruit moon the singing moon and the hazel moon now why am I saying that there are different names um, the harvest moon is actually a specific thing and that is the moon that is the closest to the autumn equinox um, which is Maybun. So some years it is in September like it is this year and then other years it's actually in October so if you have a full moon that's on like October 2nd um, versus a full moon that is on October 1st or excuse me September 1st the one that's closer to Maybun, which is the 21st of September well the fall equinox so between the 21st and um, I think the 23rd of September um, that the one that that's in October is obviously closer to the end of September versus the beginning. Anyways, it's a whole thing. Um, I hope that makes sense. But um, yeah, there are lots of really cool free apps to track these moon cycles that tell you about the moon, um, give you some moon lore and stuff. Um, there is one from NASA that I like. I also have like moon omens, I think, or like, I think that's an Instagram. Anyways, um, Tons of stuff out there and a lot of them are free. So if you are kind of an undercover witch, definitely check that out. It's a fun way to be witchy. And if anyone asks, you're just really into space, right? Um, anyways, um, tomorrow night's moon might appear orange due to atmospheric haze, but it is not always orange and it's okay if it's not. Um, but it is very cinematic and witchy indeed. If it is orange, I will probably be up on my roof taking pictures because that's the kind of person I am. Um, but it is very cool and again because it does rise so um, quickly after sunset um, there is still a lot of atmospheric heat and stuff that is up in the sky um, that does tend to make it look a little bit more orange so um, a lot of people just call orange looking moons harvest moons harvest moon is primarily the one that's closest to the fall equinox um, yes so this moon is going to be in Pisces, so it's the full moon in Pisces, which means that your emotions are probably going to be all over the place. Um, my One of my best friends is a Pisces, and she is just really sweet, and I never th thought about like our signs being opposites. Um, so it's just kind of funny to me, like I'm a Virgo, she's a Pisces, it's probably why we get along so well. Um, but it's basically like this moon is really about meeting um, all of the things head on that you need to remove from your life um, before Samhain. So definitely recommend a huge house cleansing tomorrow if you have a chance. Um, and yeah, I just, it's it's a it's a good time of year. I really enjoy this time of year. So one of the things that you can do to celebrate this full moon and Maybun actually, if you want to kind of combine them together tomorrow, um, is decorating your altar using gold, red, orange, um, brown, black, white, kind of colors of the harvest. You could also decorate it with corn and grains. Um, the besom or broom is a very um, like common symbol around this time so there's that. Um, you could also use citrine, amber, carnelian, any kind of like red or gold stones to um, kind of call in the harvest as well as black stones like obsidian, jet, shungite, etc, hematite, um, anything like that to kind of bring in that the darker half of the year because we're that's where we're starting to enter. I'm going to talk about Maybon in like two videos so just bear with me until then I promise I will go over it. Um, some foods that you could eat because I always prepare a nice meal on full moons it's part of my practice um, but I always kind of go a little bit out of my way to create something really beautiful um, but you could eat foods like apples, pumpkins, bread, grains, um, game meats, stews, soups, um, root vegetables, mead, beer, and wine. So you could just totally have like a nice fall feast. I am not 100% sure 
what I'm gonna make yet. I'm gonna kind of think about it today and then go to the store tomorrow to get some like fresh veggies. I know I want like root vegetables of some kind. I just don't know if it's like gonna be carrots or potato, like what I'm gonna do, but um, it's gonna be really good. I'm gonna get some wine because mama deserves it. Um, and yeah, it's gonna be, it's, it's gonna be awesome. So, um, so other themes or symbols that you could use um, in your like full moon ritual, um, I recommend focusing on abundance and cleansing. Of course, those are like my two big magics. Like I really like I'm good at that kind of stuff. So like abundance, I would say I would say abundance, uh, protection and um, cleansing. Oh my gosh, I was like, what did I say? Um, those are like my top three, like best, like that's where I excel uh, magically. Um, but some other themes are balance, abundance, reaping rewards, harvest, home, and hearth. So I'm going to be talking about hearth witchcraft in a little bit as well. Um, so stay tuned for that. But yeah, I also really just, this whole, this moon just really gives me good energy. This is like my favorite type of year um, where you can kind of see falls like creeping in, but it's still not like cold yet um like kind of that back to school season of course it is because I'm a Virgo and I love organization and school supplies um, but I just I really hope you guys have a great full moon I hope you do some abundance magic and you just attract all of that beautiful prosperity that you deserve so um, if you have any questions let me know down below and I will see you guys tomorrow